I'm Kevin Morell, and um, I guess you would call me a sous vide nerd. I love all things culinary and I've been pursuing the art of sous vide now for over 30 years. And I'm still learning. Sous vide was invented in the 70s by this guy who was kind of a technical chef, I want a better term, called Georges Prelu. The process of sous vide is you take your raw ingredients, you may just cook the, the meat on its own, or it may be seasoned, or you might add some sauce or some vegetables, and then you vacuum seal that, so everything is locked into the pouch. And at that point, it's introduced into either a water bath, which is the favoured way of processing sous vide, or a steamer. The mussels are much more relaxed, they don't dry out, the food is much more succulent and moist. It's just an intelligent way to cook. I had a pub with my dad and I can remember cooking beef bourguignon in a pan on the stove, which seemed to take forever. And I thought there must be a thousand people like me all looking for an answer. And at that time, there was somebody having a go at introducing this added value process, and that was Albert Roux. What happened was by twist of fate, uh, I ended up working for him. He used to have a saying, we do not have the right to make a mistake. Of course, nothing is error free, but an interesting perspective to have. And so that's, that's probably the biggest thing I learned. Of course, I learned a whole load of other stuff about how to cook properly and a load of life skills too. In 1989, I made the brave decision to start producing my own sous vide dishes from my house, which was brave at the time and now I look back at it, it was probably foolish but it was definitely brave and uh, I started by supplying my local pub and I would supply them with beef casserole and pea and ham soup and they would supply me with beer so it worked really well we were all happy um, my mates were happy um, but there's only so much beer you can drink and as the business grew we started working with bigger and bigger customers and at one point we were producing about 300,000 portions of sous vide a week. The phone went one day and it was Bernard Hogarth saying I'm from Cranswick and I'd like to talk to you. Although our companies were so significantly different in size our philosophy and our morals and our integrity were pretty much identical. We kind of kept in touch, pen pal kind of way, and little did I know that Cranswick had decided to make a move significantly into sous vide processing. I got a call one day to ask me if I would like to be involved in this project, um, which I was delighted about. I was ready to see if we could develop the sous vide at Cranswick. I guess I would see my role as taking all of the learnings I've had in the last 30 years and to deliver that standard of excellence to Cranswick's customers. I'm really excited to be working with Cranswick, partly because the ingredients are so great, partly because they've got a great sous vide processing system, which is like a kid with a new toy, partly because the people I'm working with are so enthusiastic. Those are the three ingredients that really turn me on. And I'm just looking forward to what we think we can do together going forward.